So now let's move a little bit beyond crickets. Important question for me. Have you ever, are you a fan of bubble tea? Have you had bubble tea before? Well, yeah, it's an interesting question. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I have had bubble tea a few times. Why is that? No, so generally, I my first YouTube show with cricketers was Bubble Tea with Rush, but obviously during this quarantine, I myself can't have bubble tea, so you know, having anything related to bubble tea wouldn't really work out. But I'm a huge bubble tea fan. Like that's the only oh, thing wow. I drink besides water and like fresh smoothies or something. But I'm absolutely <laughs> obsessed with bubble tea. I I remember the first time I had it was in a a place uh, in East Auckland called Momo Tea, but they called it Pearl Tea back then. Okay. Well, like pearl so, tea, you know, like little yeah, pearls. Yeah, yeah. I think, I mean, like, there are a lot of places here where they call them pearls. I guess I remember the first time when I had it, I had a sip and I was like, yeah, I can't do this. And I, I could not finish it. And then I started having mm. like the popping bubbles, which were like a little bit on the different, they weren't tapioca. So I was like going through that. And then I went back to kind of the tapioca bubbles and I'm like obsessed. So I was not a yeah. fan of it at oh. first, but now it's like a part of me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind next time I yeah, go down definitely. to the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite place to visit in New Zealand itself? Oh, it's such such an easy answer, and it's definitely Queenstown. Um, I love I love the Lake District down south. Um, I think it's just beautiful. Um, it's really serene. Uh, at times, I think nowadays it can get overpopulated with tourists, but. Mm -hmm. um, you know, definitely the surrounds, you know, Wanaka, Glenorchy, uh, Arrowtown, I think is a lovely, lovely part of the world. I don't know if you visit, visited there I yet? did, I did. So I was in mm. Wellington and then flew to, um, flew there and then flew to Christchurch. So I definitely liked it. Mm. I really liked, the only thing I didn't like about kind of, I liked Christchurch a lot as well because it was so artsy, except mm. the fact that everything went closed so early. Like luckily food yeah, restaurants, yeah. you know, you would find stuff, but like in terms of like, I did, I could not shop at all because there were test matches. So mm -hmm. by then, you know, everything is closed as well by the match, you know, was over for the day. So that was like the only thing because it's very different in America. Everything is kind of open until usually nine, 10 at least. But yeah, everything I think there was like closing around five or six in terms of shopping. Yeah. But yeah, I really liked being in Christchurch. They also had some good yeah. bubble tea places. Christchurch did. Oh, well, I'm yeah. in Christchurch now, so if you do uh, have a recommendation, pass it off. I will. I definitely will send you that because, I, yeah, I mean, I can't visit a place without having bubble tea. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what's your favorite food? I love Italian food. Um, okay. I love Italian food. I like, I, God, it's too, you know, never, not to, I love Indian food. That's just part of the territory. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, like if I was to go out for dinner, I'd have um, Italian food. I really like olives and parmesan and cheese and um, pizza and pasta, yeah. So yes. right now I've been craving like pizza for the longest time, but like Domino's pizza from New Zealand. I love Domino's pizza in India, but when I was oh, there, really? like I had, I had like Domino's, I wish I had it earlier, but I had it like while I was in Christchurch and I absolutely, like, they had so many varieties and I'm vegetarian as well, but they had like, just so many varieties. They have avocado on their pizza as well. Like it was crazy. It was like the best pizza I've mm. ever had. So I'm oh, like, wow. I just need to come back to New Zealand for Domino's. <laughs> oh, you got to You gotta, if you do get a chance in Christchurch, there's an unbelievable place called uh, Venuti. That's a really good pizza. So okay, well, hopefully next. I mean, hopefully next year for Women's ODI. You know, if I'm in New Zealand, mm. I'll definitely ask you for some recommendations. And then, so I had a fan question as well from Bhavan who asked, what's your favorite Punjabi food? Ooh, my favorite Punjabi food is definitely, uh, ooh, it's a hard one. I really like, I like aloo parante with, um, with like that chitta makan, you know, that white makan. Yeah. Which is really good. Um, yeah. But, but also like, say if me and my wife uh, go and visit mum and dad, my mum always puts on chole bature, which, um, you know, is is unbelievable, but also she like she slices up small little cubes of paneer and puts it through her uh, her chole as well, which is really good. Oh, that's and, different. And yeah. that's definitely my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, I I visited Punjab for the first time last year when I was in India, and I absolutely loved it. Like I loved it, the food yeah. and everything. I like bratas or kulchas every day. It was just too good. Um, <laughs> oh, 
Stop it. I just went for a run. <laughs> like, I can't be thinking about this stuff. Mm. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Uh, if I could have a superpower, I would definitely be able to fly. Fly? Yeah, I'd Second. love to be able to fly. Um, just the... <laughs> Just the freedom of flying, I think it would be such a cool thing. But although, although the other one probably be time travel, that would be pretty cool. Mm, that would be. Yeah. How What's about your you? favorite? Oh, for me, hmm. I feel like reading minds because I feel like these should... days it's Whoa. just so hard to like find. You know, like I feel like just knowing kind of what people are actually thinking because I feel like it's very hard to find like mm. honesty or just kind of like exactly how a person what they're thinking and everything. So I feel like definitely something along those lines reading a person's mind i feel like would be really cool as long as they don't know about yeah. it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah transparency <laughs> i'll see what you mean so favorite hindi song um favorite hindi song i don't really listen to much of hindi know. songs or not a huge amount no okay. um, but Probably the one that I, I quite like at the moment. I can't remember who sings it, but it's called Jikarda. It's a Punjabi song. Um, Jikarda. Is it? Yeah. Not not yeah. singers King Jikarda. It's a different one. Oh, um, no, yeah. Was it yeah, from a Bollywood movie be... or? Wait there. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can. Yeah. All right. I'll just have a look in my... Um... Okay. It's by... It's Jikarda featuring Gary Sandhu. Maybe? Okay. I probably yeah, so heard it. I'm not the best at remembering like the singer's name. But yeah, I mean, I listen to a lot of Punjabi songs. Huge fan of Punjabi yeah. songs. So what is the most used emoji on your phone? I don't know if you're an emoji user, but if you are, which emoji do you use the most? Oh, it's got to be the monkey um, that <laughs> covers its face. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what do you use it yeah. as like i know whenever i use it it's more on the terms of blushing but is that how you also use it or is it what's oh, your kind of it's meaning just so it? versatile um it is you can use so it for what's so your many meaning things. of it yeah <laughs> generally like oh shying away from the conversation maybe <laughs> <laughs> okay so what's your favorite bollywood actor do you watch bollywood movies or not as much um, I, I actually have been watching a few uh, Bollywood movies, but I really like Amir Khan. He's um, he's unbelievable. I think uh, the movies that he's made recently yeah. and, and over the past wee while, I think he's always got some quite strong meanings in his movies. He's awesome. Uh, I love Amitabh Bachchan as well. It's hard to yeah. go past someone like that. Yeah. And growing up, I watched a lot of old movies with my mum, uh, and he yeah. was in it. And now he's still still obviously making some yeah, great he's movies. He's definitely an icon. Yeah. Mm. Surely, so that's a good one. <laughs> I know, so I know I had seen how um, you are interested in psychology. So where did that interest kind of develop? And do you see yourself? I know that was something that, you know, maybe if not a cricketer after, you know, when you do retire, that might be an interest. Would you kind of look into maybe psychology and cricket? I know these days, you know, there's been a lot of, well, cricket itself is such a mental based game as well, besides the physical part of it. Is that something you would kind of look into do? I actually studied psychology. So my bachelor's was in psychology. Oh, wow. So I like, you know, I wrote a lot of papers related to cricket and kind of mental health and things like that. So kind of what is your take? How did that interest develop? And do you see yourself kind of in any of those aspects? Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely something that I've, you know, looked into, um, especially in the past we while we've had a lot of time in our hands so I've been asking myself those questions you know if it wasn't if I wasn't playing cricket what would I like to do or, or once I finish playing cricket what is it I'd like to do uh, psychology keeps popping up and maybe it's because um, like my my old man when we were in India he's, he was an eye surgeon and uh, the whole reason he wanted to come to New Zealand was because he didn't really enjoy um, you know kind of doing that surgery and didn't enjoy med medicine as such but but he came over to New Zealand and after doing a few jobs, he, he found himself in, um, in a mental health organization, um, you know, for work. So I was kind of surrounded by, uh, by that from a, a really young age. Uh, yeah. So it probably interested me quite a lot just because it was, you know, what I had known um, my dad to do. And, and then I suppose once I started playing cricket and, and realizing um, 
you know, how important mental health is um, around sport, probably the first thing that I could relate it back to. Um, you know, I thought that it was definitely worth exploring. Um, and I suppose, you know, uh, you do so much training in terms of your physical training. And um, yet a lot of the great cricketers uh, believe that cricket is 30, 20, 20 to 30 percent um, or even 40% physical and then 60% mental. So, mm-hmm. you know, what the mental training looks like for a cricketer, I think is something that has always really interested me as well. Um, but in saying that, it's uh, it's a long degree, as you know. Um, yeah. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a long degree. And being a 27-year-old man and still, you know, trying to play cricket for at least the next 10 to 12, 13 years, uh, finding time to, to study um, itself i think is, is a huge challenge so that's that's another yeah. thing that i'd have to look into if that was a path that i wanted to take okay so now i mean as we discussed it's so mental based and i think one of the reasons why i was so fascinated into cricket like being here was just kind of i find it to be one of the more difficult sports compared to any of the other sports i feel like there's so much involved with it compared to other sports and obviously one of it is the mindset definitely So how do you kind of keep yourself kind of calm, you know, during matches, prior to matches, especially, you know, before World Cup or before important tournaments and things like that, kind of what goes on? Because obviously sometimes it can get nerve wracking. There's so much pressure there. So how do you kind of keep yourself calm? What what have you used? I think, um, you know, in those situations, um, the more times you've been through those situations, the better you get. I certainly know the first few times that I played uh, in, you know, high pressure, especially World Cup matches, it was, was you know, very nerve wracking. Um, test matches mm-hmm. early on in my career, very, you know, always quite nervous uh, leading into them. Not saying you don't get nervous now, but you probably learn yeah. to deal with those nerves and, and you almost normalize them. You know, I think that's the biggest thing is just realizing that you're getting nervous. You getting nervous isn't a bad thing. It's just, it's, mm-hmm. it comes with the territory at times, you know. Yeah. Um, when you're put in really high pressure situations, but then then you have to depend a lot on your training, um, and you know all the all the training that you've done, the countless hours that you've put in, the specific training you've done to you know prepare for the roles that you're about to play in the game. Uh, if you can simplify it down completely to what role you have to play for the team to succeed, and and try to perform that role as best as you can, that usually uh, tends to deal with the nerves a lot better uh, because you're not. Because generally, I think um, the nerves come from you know wanting to win or lose games. Mm. Um, but but you got to remember that you know your skill is part of a collective. Um, you know your your job in the team isn't to win or lose the game. For the team. Yeah. It's to you know for me, it's to get wickets for the team or keep you know runs tight or, or something like that or to bowl well. And that's a lot simpler and puts a lot less pressure on you than oh you have to do this role to win the game. You know, you yeah. have to do this role, and if you don't do it, you'll lose the game. So uh, that tends to help me a lot. You know, if I if I do find myself getting too nervous and thinking too far ahead, I try to bring it back to uh, the role that I have to play for the team. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so we're going to end with a quick rapid fire of this or that. So you get two choices, got to pick one. So to start off, oh. Virat Kohli or Kane Williamson? Kane Williamson. It's a tough choice too. I'm like a diehard fan mm. of both. <laughs> chocolate or vanilla? Easy choice. Chocolate. Good choice too. Batman or Superman? Batman every time. <laughs> so IPL or Big Bash? IPL. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Cardio or weights? Weights. Dine in or delivery? Dine in. Call or text? Call. Book or ebook? Book. Okay, and lastly, working alone or working in a team? working in a team i think it depends on the situation i feel like in school projects i always preferred working alone i feel like i would end up doing a lot i can't i can't imagine what it would be like after i finished playing cricket and not being part of a team environment so i have to find something that you know would be a team environment. yeah no i feel like yeah you're always around people 
you know so it's definitely a different yeah. kind of environment so i can imagine how difficult it can get yeah. so thank Good you point. so much for joining me and i hope you stay safe as well luckily in new zealand it seems like it's been kind of under control but hopefully this quarantine mm. gets over soon and we see some cricket and you in action again yeah absolutely thanks for having me eh? thank you bye stay safe see ya